Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. I'm with T.O. Wigs. Today I'm going to be showing you a Tony Bratton style. It's whimsical in the color light blonde. Now here's the little package that it comes in. This is the little package that the Tony Bratton wigs come in. So I was just going to show you that. And here's the piece whimsical in light blonde. Now, um, I didn't put her on first because I wanted to do it with you guys because I've been getting quite a few messages from ladies. Miss Amy O, if you're out there, hi. <laughs> but from quite a few ladies telling me that uh, they ordered a piece and then when they got it, it looks nothing like the stock photo, you know, like the pictures that they were looking at. And they just don't know what to do with it. They've even been sending me pictures of wearing the hair. And they, they just don't know about styling or how to manage these pieces. I wanted to take Whimsical straight out of the box there and put her on with you guys. And show you some of the things that I do and that I've learned over a period of time. Because I promise you, <laughs> when I first started wearing wigs... I've said this before, that I would just put a piece on my head and I thought, that's it. That's all there is. I didn't even realize that I could put my fingers in there and mess with that hair and style that hair. And, you know, we have all these styling products, just like wig wax and stuff like that, that we can use on these pieces. So, it's just so important to know, especially if you're new to wigs, y'all, that you have to style these pieces. I would say... It's not that unusual that when you get it right out of the box, it's not it's not going to look the way that you want it to unless you style it and play with it some, okay? So here's Whimsical. I like the color light blonde. I'm going to shake her out. We shake these out to loosen up the fibers from the cap. I didn't even realize that in the beginning of my wig journey. <laughs> but you have to shake them up. Okay, so this is a basic cap, and I want to tell y'all before I forget, this comes in an average and a large cap, so that's huge. So, I just want to say that before I forget. Let's put Whimsical on and see what we can do, okay? I've not had Whimsical before, so I'm excited. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> We're going to get her fixed up. I have to look over here a little bit, y'all, so I can see what I'm doing, okay? Oh, I like the color. It's not a lot of hair. I don't feel any permatease. Oh my. Maybe the tiniest bit of crimpy fibers, but I don't feel any permatease. So, you know, some of us are looking for pieces that don't have a lot of permatease and have a low density. And this one I feel like does. Yeah, that's just not very much hair. What a pretty color. Let me take this opportunity to thank Tracy at Teal Wigs for sending me this piece so that I could review it for all of y'all. Thank you, Tracy. We really appreciate you. Y'all, I want to tell you too. I just have a special place for Tony Bratton. Um, you know, my very first wig was a Tony Bratton wig. And I love the fibers. I love the fit. I love the caps. And I love the price point on Tony Bratton pieces. So, and I want to tell you too that uh, Tracy offers shop pay at T.O. Wigs. So, if you want to get shop pay, you can pay your pieces out, you know, like in monthly installments or something. something. So, that really helps us. Okay, you guys, also, I will leave a direct product link down in my description for Whimsical here. That'll take you straight over to the T.O. Wigs website so that you can look at Whimsical. She comes in 11 colors, and I looked, and I saw a pretty light gray, and it looked really pretty. So, I'm going to go back and look at that again, too. But 11 colors, so picture her in the color that you like if maybe light blonde is not your color. She weighs two and a half ounces. These are heat-friendly fibers. I was so happy to find that out. Because, you know, I like heat-friendly fibers. So to me, they're just, they feel better. They're just more realistic looking. They don't always have that shine when they come straight out of the box. Sometimes, like our synthetic pieces can have. So, anyway, that's a lot of good information about Whimsical. Okay, everybody. Let's, let's see what we can do. So, you get your piece straight out of the box. Make sure you shake it. 
make sure you do that, put her on your head. And I mean, it just depends on what you're looking for. Do you want it to be sleek to your head? You know, do you want it to just come down like this and be sleek? Do you want a sleek look? Or do you want a more styled look, maybe with some height on top? If you do, you just have to get in there. Y'all, you're not going to hurt these. These are stronger than you think. You know, I'm not saying <laughs> be too rough. But, I mean, you can play with this hair. So, here's my wig wax. This is that uh, Trust Tech wig wax. Tracy carries that in the accessories part on the T.O. Wigs website. I'm going to drop a link below for this. I don't use a lot of products on my pieces, y'all, but this is one thing that I never want to be without. This wig wax is amazing. It's not gummy or sticky. It doesn't leave buildup on your pieces. This is very valuable for styling. This and a spray water bottle. <laughs> okay, so let's say we want to put a little texture and maybe height on Whimsical here. And you want it to hold. So I would just put a little wig wax in here. You know, it's kind of like hairspray, sculpting hairspray. She doesn't have permatease. And remember, permatease is what allows the piece usually to give us some height and volume and hold the style. So with this piece not really having any permatease, you'll need to get in there and give her a little help to get some lift and volume and a sculpted look. It dries really fast. It smells good. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I love this light blonde with the root. Let's look at that. Doesn't that look real? I mean, it just looks real. Like, you went to the beauty shop. You know, this is the color you went to the beauty shop and got. And maybe it's growing out a little. There's your roots. And I just love roots on pieces. Look how cute that is. Let's look at the back. So ladies, when you when you see that stock photo and you just love that piece, you order it and when you put it straight on your head out of the box, it doesn't look like maybe it does on the lady in the stock photo. Please put your fingers in there. Separate those fibers. You know how you like to wear your hair. Do you want it over to the side? Do you want it more up around your face? Do you like more lift? You style it the way you would if it was your real hair. And it'll just make all the difference in the world to you if you style it the way that you like. Don't be afraid of it. Just get in there. Just get in there and do it. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a lot of the fun of wearing, this, uh, wearing these pieces is we get to style them. So just have fun with it. Okay, little whimsical. How cute. Oh, see, that doesn't overpower me. It just, it just feels like my real hair. This cap is so comfortable. Gosh, it just feels like a little feather on my head, just like nothing. So that's wonderful. So, you know, she's a basic cap. So you won't be really pulling it up off of your face. I mean, because she's got that bang, I mean, I guess if you wanted to, just leave a little bang hanging down and put you a little pin in there. You could do that. Here's the coverage. Oh, she's got great coverage. This average cap is fitting me like a dream. Here's the bottom of the ear tab. Here's the top of my ear. Perfect. Perfect coverage. Very comfortable. I'll show you the inside of the cap just super fast. She's a basic cap. Basic cap. 
You can see this is open wefted for ventilation. If there is permatease, it's just, there might be, yeah, I think there is that like thinnest layer that you can have. I, I do feel just a tiny thin layer maybe. And there's her open ear tab, her open extended nape. That's so comfortable. Velcro adjusters, and she's all open wefted. Okay. We'll put her back on. She's cute. <laughs> and see, once you have that wig wax in there, it'll just hold the style. When you're through wearing it for the day and you put it up till the next day or whenever you want to wear it again, it'll still have that product in it and it'll still just work with you, you know, just like you did the day that you wore it before. Isn't that pretty with those long layers, y'all? You see, it's not real short. Oh, that is pretty. Now, that is pretty. I see another piece for my new wig-wearing sisters, because I'm still going to do that video, because I have another piece now that I really want to talk about with y'all, and I can see I am 100% going to add this one to the list for my new wig-wearing sisters. Okay, you could just part her anywhere you wanted. Y'all, you cannot see springy permatease. I already looked. It's the first thing I look for when I get a piece. You cannot see it on this. This just looks natural, just like your hair. Oh, that is just pretty. That is pretty. <laughs> Let's look. Everybody, please come over and join us on the TOX private Facebook group. I am just loving making so many friends with y'all and getting to know everybody. And so many of you have already joined the Facebook group and we get to talk all the time. And I am really enjoying that. We all are. If you'll join that private Facebook group, you can meet all the other reviewers that review for T.L. Wigs. They show pieces of long hair and red hair and wavy hair and blonde hair. All kind of pieces that I don't show, so watch their reviews too and see if you can, you know, find a piece that interests you. Also, we want to tell you that if you're a member of that private Facebook group, Tracy gives away $1,000 a week <laughs> in prizes, gift cards, free wigs, products for our hair, but you have to be a member. So come over there and join us for that, okay? All right, everybody, I've kept you long enough. This is just a darling little piece. Now, I'm going to uh, go outside and take a short video of outside color, and I'll add it to the end of this video. All right, everybody. Oh, yes, I was going to say this. Because it's heat-friendly fibers, it says that you can put heat on this up to 350 degrees. Now, my advice to you is don't go up to 350 degrees. I never ever go as high as the manufacturer says that we can go. I just like to play it a little safe. So if you wanted to take your flat iron or curling iron to this, don't go quite that high. At least until you're real familiar with what you're doing. I don't want you to ruin your wig, okay? All right, everybody, I think that's it. I appreciate you guys so very much. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Everybody, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Here's an outside look at the color for Tony Bratton's Whimsical in the color Light Blonde.